Hi everyone, I'm Lisa and welcome to Lisa's Stamp Studio. I'm going to teach you how to heat emboss on acetate or better known as window sheets with Stampin' Up. I'm going to bring in my silicone craft sheet so you can see this just a little bit better. Acetate is flexible. It works great for shaker cards, but you can heat emboss it. And I've been getting questions about that, especially this time of year where a lot of people are making their holiday cards. I wanted to show you how, as well as teach you how to color on it. And I'm gonna bring in my Versamark ink, and I've mounted a floral image, and this is from the stamp set called Sunshine Sayings. Really cute. And these can be all built together to create custom phrases. So I've got my flower here, and I'm gonna go ahead and ink that up in Versamark. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have your embossing powder ready nearby, which I do, it's my black. Lots of firm, even pressure. You're gonna find that it's really slippery on the acetate, so make sure that you stamp straight down. So I'm working over a coffee filter here so I can put the excess back inside the bottle, and you're gonna powder generously. It's gonna stick like that because of the static from the window sheet, so you need to beat it. Don't be afraid to beat it. So I'm just flicking it really hard to get all the excess off of the image. The powder sticks very well where there's ink, so you don't have to worry. I'm gonna be using a heat tool. I'm gonna to use it on the highest speed. I'm gonna give you a tip. Go ahead and use a pair of tweezers, or in this case, I've got a little clamp here that Bob the Builder made for me on a stick that works really, really well. The window sheet or the acetate will conduct some heat, so you want to be careful you don't burn yourself. I'm going to use this on the highest setting, which is speed two. I'm going to work down here so that you can see a little better. My first tip is to make sure that you keep the gun moving. If you get it too close or you overheat an area, it will begin to warp and it will burn a hole. What's going to happen is that powder is gonna turn from a powdery finish to a slick dark gray finish. It's not gonna look really black at first. You're gonna find that you have some residual embossing powder left behind, and I keep a small piece of a Swiffer in my stamp studio to pick up those stray flecks. You wanna make sure you don't transfer them to your project or of course to your ink pads. You're gonna to wanna to let this cool for a few minutes, and then you're gonna be able to use Stampin' Blends to color it from the backside. So I'm flipping this over, and I have several colors here. For me, I found the darker shades work really well. Since this is an opaque finish, the darker shades are gonna be more prominent in appearance. Now I've got a card finish for you with a sample, and I'm also gonna give you some tips about playing up some shimmer behind there. I'm gonna use the dark pool party as an example. I've used these other colors here on the other card I'm gonna show you. Working from the back side, you're gonna color it in. Just stay within the embossed lines on the front of your acetate. And you can go back over this once the alcohol evaporates from the Stampin' Blends, which are an alcohol-based marker, and you can make the shade darker. If you work too quickly, all you're gonna do is just move the existing color that's there before it dries, so be patient. That not that pretty? So I'm gonna get my glue dots ready here because I'm gonna show you a little way you can step this up a little bit. So I'm looking to put that glue dot here in the center and you wanna work in areas that are not too conspicuous. So I'm gonna work here on the edges and just pressing it on the glue dot. I've got three on here, you can add more. And look at this, silver glimmer paper. So I'm gonna add that over the top and then I'm gonna press that in place. Remember, this is now the front side or the embossed side of the acetate. And you can take your scissors and cut this out. This one I did on the actual sparkle glimmer paper. So it has a little bit less shimmer, but it certainly is equally as pretty. Now I promised you a finished card and here it is. So I used the dark poppy parade. I also used the dark mango melody and the dark Bermuda Bay to create this card and added that beautiful black glittered ribbon that's in the holiday catalog. A simple card because I didn't want to take away from the beauty of these. These are on the silver paper. Stamping on acetate is quite simple and so is coloring it using your alcohol-based Stampin' Blends. If you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and you're interested in purchasing Stampin' Up! supplies, I would be more than happy to send you a complimentary copy of the annual catalog and or the holiday catalog. Just leave me a comment below. You'll be able to find the pictures of this card in the link of this video below if you're here from YouTube. Thanks so much for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you next time for another quick tip. Have a great day.